Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Irene, for your introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Chun Yudi. I'm, uh, I'm working in Guangdong Academy of Agricultural Sciences. I, my, my research focuses on the fossil wilt of banana, especially the TR4. Uh, these years, I collaborated with uh, Li Jun from UMass, UMass Amherst and the authors from Stellenbosch University. I discussed uh, with them, so I will introduce the, uh, a part of our, our joint works today. So the title uh, of my presentation is uh, FOC TR4 modulates its invasion in banana by the microtoxin and effectors. And we all know that TR4 is the great threat for the uh, uh, world banana industry. Uh, comparing STR4, the subtropical risk 4, the TR4 is more virulent. It can outbreak in both tropical and uh, subtropical regions. Uh, it includes four VCGs, uh, 0, 12, 1, 0, 12, uh, 13, uh, 12, uh, uh, 16, and, uh, and also the complex 13, 16. Uh, from our uh, uh, genome resequencing data, we can find many uh, SNP and the indels. So we can see it's a uh, keep evolving and evolved very rapid. We can't uh, exclude the uh, opportunity that in some day, TR4 gained a new pathogenicity by the uh, uh, horizontal gene transfer gain the, uh, gain the new pathogenicity become more uh, virulent. In the world where most of the countries still haven't implemented a very strict and effective quarantine regulations and the methods, so the pathogen uh, spread very rapid. Uh, from the first uh, outbreak in China, Taiwan in 1967. Uh, now TR4 has spread to most of the uh, banana, uh, Asia banana growing countries. And uh, 2000, uh, 2013 has spread to uh, Mozambique. Uh, last year spread to uh, Colombia. So arose a great panic in the world. Uh, we still haven't developed a very effective control measures. Only a very few resistant tolerant varieties was, uh, was adopted to sustain the banana industry. So in order to uh, develop the, the effective control measures, I think we should know and invest, uh, investigate the interaction mechanism between the TR4 and the banana. So it's a whole uh, life and invasion cycle of the TR4. Uh, uh, inside the is host. And the microconidia, uh, microconidia, chlamydospores mycelium, are, is, uh, for the act, uh, are acting as the TR4's uh, primary inocular. In the, in the spring and autumn, when the temperature is uh, suitable, uh, and uh, whenever it absorbs enough nutri uh, nutrients, it begins to germinate. The germinate uh, spores will attach the root, uh, root surface and they begin to produce and secrete many kinds of the biochemical substances and they began the it's a invasion process, uh, including the, uh, the penetration and the uh, infection. And due to the uh, invasion, the mycelium and the cornidia inside the, is, uh, the host vascular system will produce many kinds of the uh, toxic, uh, uh, chemicals to uh, collapse, uh, collapse and uh, distorted the vascular system. And the germs, tailors, lignification, mycelium will plunge the vessels. At last, the host uh, will, uh, will shut off the uh, water nutrients. And its vascular system will plunge. Its uh, transpiration and photosynthesis will be reduced. It will show the the external external wilting external uh, wilting sim, uh, symptoms at the last uh, will be killed by the pathogen. The dead plant and the disease uh, disease uh, tissues will become the secondary inoc inoculum and begin the second run of the of the infection. It's a whole infection cycle for the pathogen. So I will introduce uh, some important infection uh, events. The first one is the germination. For the germination, we can see in the 
uh, in the banana uh, fields, especially in the spring and autumn, the same time is, uh, is more serious. So for the temperature is uh, ranges from the 20 to 30, it's uh, very suitable for its uh, germination, especially for the root exotics from the host. Once we compare the root exotics from the resistant and susceptible varieties, we found that those from the resistant can inhibit the germination. However, for the susceptible varieties can improve and accelerate the uh, uh, germination. The second uh, important uh, event is attachment. I think we, uh, that must uh, have exist one kind of the time taxes between the pathogen and the host. We can imagine the, uh, TR, the FOC, even TR4, won't attack lychee, citrus, and the lungan. So that must have one kind of the time taxes. We should investigate it further. The banana uh, root belongs to the fibrous root system. The primary root is relatively fig, not very, uh, the growth is not ac active. Only the secondary and the tertiary roots grow very uh, rapidly and active. When it grows to the place of the, uh, the spores, for the, TR, the FOC, uh, the Fosamine oxysma spores is fixed in the soil. Only the, uh, only the, uh, the root grows to its uh, the place, it can attach to the root surface. It can infect the banana root from the tips of, uh, of the roots, the root cap and the root of the elongation, even from the natural uh, wounds. The third a great event is the penetration. And before it's Chinese uh, uh, penetration, uh, it will uh, it exist one kind of the recognition. And for whether for the resistant uh, banana varieties and uh, susceptible varieties, they uh, all of them have two levels of the immunity. One is the uh, pattern triggered immunity. The other is the uh, effect triggered in, uh, immunity. After the attachment of the spores, the host will enforce the physical structures by lignification or itself will produce many kinds of the uh, structural proteins to build the cell walls to inhibit the pathogen's uh, further invasion. The pathogen can, uh, the host will also produce some kind of the antimicrobial agents to kill the pathogen di uh, directly, including the, such as the uh, RS, the secondary uh, metabolites, some peptides and uh, proteins. The third strategy is that, that the host will involve, will, is also involving, will involve one kind of strategy to avoid the uh, affinity between the, uh, some important uh, effectors. To avoid uh, the effect binding with the, is, uh, the host receptor. To avoid uh, activating one pathogenicity signaling pathway to stop its invasion. For this kind of the immunity, for the resistant banana varieties, the resistance is durable. But this kind of the resistance can restrict can the upwards invasion of the pathogen and maintain the, the pathogen mostly located in, inside the intercellular space. However, for the susceptible banana varieties, this resistance is uh, transit. It's uh, instantaneous, not in a steady state. So the pathogen uh, I can easily break down the host cell wall, can enter the intracellular space, move inside the cell, uh, cell or tissues, inside the cell or tissues. And from the pathogen side, it also has its own strategy to overcome or compromise the host immunity. I conclude the four uh, strategies. They can produce the elicitors, and then these kind of elicitors can, can induce the hypersensitive response, can, uh, can kill the cell, that uh, cause the necrosis of the tissues. 
for the TR4, FOC belong to the one kind of the uh, semi uh, biotrophic or necrotrophic fungal pathogen. They lack it much of the host tissue dyes. It's very easy for them to absorb uh, the nutrients from the host for its uh, propagation, for its invasion. So the cell dyes and the necrosis is very good for the pathogen's invasion. The second strategy is uh, secreting the effectors. Some effectors can uh, interfere uh, can interfere with the host uh, recognition, the host specificity. We all know the classical theory, the gene to gene, is based on the effect with the as a receptor. Some effect can bind the receptor to acti activate the pathogenicity uh, signaling pathway. Some effect can inhibit the uh, ion uh, uptake, such as the potassium. The third uh, strategy is uh, producing the uh, microtoxins. Some microtoxin, we still don't know exactly the mechanism why the, the fungal can produce so many secondary metabolites, especially the microtoxin. However, we find some microtoxin can accelerate its invasion, such as the phosphoric acid. I will introduce the, uh, the mechanism in uh, this presentation. And uh, some uh, uh, macrotoxin is relative to itself the growth, such as the uh, bioresin. We know, once we knocked out uh, the one key genes for producing the uh, macro uh, uh, bioresin, and can decrease the knockout mutants, uh, the production of the, this macrotoxin uh, decrease significantly. And as the growth become very poor, especially the uh, sporadization. And it's a, the knockout mutants lost nearly all, uh, lost its pathogenicity completely. The fourth strategy is that they can also produce many kinds of the enzymes. Some enzymes uh, as it was used for breaking down the, the host cell wall. Host cell wall was composed of the uh, wax layer, cuticle, cellulose, lignin, Structural, uh, structural proteins. So they will uh, produce the relative enzymes to degrade, uh, to, uh, to degrade these kind of the chemical uh, components. Some enzymes is interfering with uh, functional uh, components in protoplasts. Some can degrade the substances inside the banana cells. So, in order to uh, invest in this, uh, the infection uh, mechanism, uh, my collaborator Li Jin, a professor Li Jin from the UMass Amherst, sequenced uh, one representative uh, TR4 isolate, IFF, assembly. The assembly uh, genome size is about 46.4 uh, megabase. And from the, is the uh, comparative genomics results, showed the uh, IFF genome can be divided into uh, two sections. One is the core genome, it's very conservative. The other is the lineage specific uh, region. It's a variable, uh, maybe more relative to the new pathogenicity. And from the core genome, we can uh, predict uh, 486 effectors. Uh, from the RS region, uh, 25 effectors. So using RSIC, we uh, analyze the pathogenicity related to the genes uh, expression. We first uh, divide the infection uh, process into four stages. One is the adsorption, the spores attached to the root surface. The second is a biotrophic stage. And most of the, uh, the spores and the mycelium live inside the uh, inter, uh, in the cellular space. And the third is oh, a transition yeah, 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 from the biotrophic yeah. to necrotrophic stage. And some uh, mass mycelium again is a penetration. The last stage is a necrotrophic, and most of the mycelium and spores uh, enter the uh, inside the cell tissues. So from the four stages of the, uh, the uh, data, 
uh, we can find the uh, uh, many effectors uh, from the core and RS regions uh, effectors expressing during the evasion. We so we picked some uh, uh, picked some of our effectors from uh, the two uh, regions to uh, invest uh, deeply. And uh, uh, the ECM uh, 33, uh, this effect is from the core, uh, gen, uh, core region. Uh, it's belong to uh, the GPI anchored protein. It's highly expressing during the early infection. It's a very widely existing in different crop uh, fungal pathogens. We knocked it out. The knockout mutants lost, uh, nearly not, uh, lost uh, its uh, pathogenicity completely. And we, uh, we analyzed uh, uh, its mechanism and found that uh, the knockout mutants produce much more uh, chitin in the cell wall. And its cell wall maybe become very uh, fragile. It's very sensitive to the cell wall disruptors like the Congo rat the chiral uh, molar. The second uh, uh, effect we analysis, uh, we investigated is uh, CP1. Uh, it's uh, from the LS region. It's can expressing during the uh, different uh, develop, uh, development stages, including the conidia, mycelium, even the different time points of the uh, inoculation. We knocked it out. It's also uh, nearly uh, lost its uh, uh, pathogenicity completely. And uh, we expressed the, uh, it, uh, this uh, effect in, uh, in E. coli and purified the uh, recombinant uh, protein. And uh, we analyzed the infested is the uh, location, found is mainly located in the uh, into the chloroplast, also the uh, vacuoles. And uh, we uh, put the uh, express the recombinant uh, protein onto the root surface. And found the yeah, uh, root surface onto the electronic micros uh, uh, microscope, we found this knockout mutants can't penetrate the roots, uh, root surface. And we also confirmed this result on the medium, and we put uh, put on uh, put one uh, the uh, cellophane uh, membrane uh, above the uh, the medium, and they inoculate inoculate uh, the pathogen uh, uh, on the uh, membrane. I found it can't uh, uh, penetrate the uh, cellophane uh, uh, membranes. And on the, uh, the leaf surface, this, uh, uh, this effector can induce a hypersensitive uh, response, cause the cell, the um, mesophyll uh, uh, and the gut cell stance. Uh, so the cell dance and tissue stance is very good for the infection of the pathogen. And also from the, uh, the, uh, the genome, we can practice many kinds of the uh, secondary uh, metabolism, the uh, gene cluster, gene clusters, including the phosphoric acid, uh, phosphoric acid and the bioresin. We can also confirmed there is the existence using the RPS uh, ESIMS. And the, both of the, these uh, macrotoxins are toxic to the protoplast can cause the, uh, the host uh, mitochondrial membrane potential decreasing, can rotten the plant lines, can rotten the cytotoxic stem. And uh, nearly we analyzed the str 4 uh, acylates and uh, TR4 acylates and found both str 4 and uh, TR4, uh, the acylates can produce uh, both of the macrotoxins. And we inoculated on the one susceptible uh, Cavendish banana. 
and uh, uh, written the uh, disease index with the uh, with the production of the microtoxin. We found more variant of the uh, the uh, the isolate and it will produce more uh, microtoxins. And we also find both of the uh, um, uh, microtoxins can this uh, was distributed in the root leaves and the cytotoxin. And inside the uh, root and the leaves and the cytotoxin, they will accumulate the much more fossil acid than pure So we invest the fossil acid deeply. And we found this uh, fossil acid, the FA, is a uh, van watt, the pioneer molecule for the pathogen. Uh, we we analyze using RHPRC to analyze the uh, settled on uh, uh found uh, uh, from the six days of post inoculation, we can uh, detect the existence, uh, the fossil acid existence in the in the set. However, from the uh, confocal uh, confocal observation, can we can find the observation set uh, only after 14 days post inoculation, we can observe the, uh, the signal, signal of the, uh, the pathogen. So we can conclude the fossil acid is a, is a pioneer molecule for the pathogen. It runs much faster than the, the pathogen. The pathogen exists inside the root system. However, they secrete the the uh, fossil acid and the secret uh, is wrong uh, uh, to the up, uh, upper part of the banana ahead of the pathogen. So it's a pioneer molecule. So we uh, predicted the, it's a, the, the it's a gene cluster is composed of the 12 the genes. We knock out six of them. For the six uh, knockout mutants, the, it's a production of the, the uh, fossil acid decreases significantly, inoculated onto the, to the uh, susceptible Cavendish banana uh, variety. And in, also the, inside the cytosine set, the concentration of the uh, microtoxin de decreases significantly. And also uh, the pathogenicity decreased significantly. The, uh, the symptom appeared uh, 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 later than the, uh, the wild type. And the, also the, uh, the disease index decreased uh, significantly. So it's the knockout, uh, the, the key genes, uh, of, uh, the key genes uh, in, uh, in the uh, FAS gene cluster will uh, attenuate its uh, virulence. We're using RSIC. Uh, to investigate uh, its uh, mechanism, and found this microtoxin is uh, observed uh, is uh, uh, relative to the host uh, oxidative phosphorylation and a functional uh, enriched in, in, in pathway uh, showed that uh, uh, many uh, mitochondrial uh, respiration uh, genes uh, was uh, associated, uh, associated with the uh, this microtoxins uh, infection. And using this uh, system, the XF1996 uh, 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 from the analysis found that this microtoxin is an uncoupling agent for respiration and phosphorylation. It can uh, decrease the mitochondrial membrane potential, can decrease the ATP production. It can uh, cause the accumulation of the RS, uh, especially at the uh, mitochondrial membrane, deform the, the mitochondrial membrane. And, uh, and uh, accumulate the too much, uh, too much RS can induce the banana protoplast uh, deaths. And also okay. can decrease the genome DNA. Two minutes. Uh, three minutes, Thank okay. You. Okay, can induce a nuclear shank. Okay, we, uh, we, also, uh, we also observe that this microtoxin 
can cause our ROS uh, accumulation in uh, above the uh, the leaf surface can uh, cause the necrosis and uh, cell deaths on the leaves. Uh, we also found any measure, any treatments uh, induce uh, ROS production can enlarge the lesion cells caused by the, uh, the TR4, especially the uh, phosphor acid plus the, the pathogen. The lesion cells is uh, larger than the control, than the control. And the, all, any measures removed ROS can uh, decrease the lesion cells. So if this result showed that uh, uh, phosphor acid uh, uh, induced the RS production in accelerate the infection of the pathogen. We also confirmed it on uh, this result on the cytotoxin stem. We pre-treat the cytotoxin stem with the phosphor acid and then rotten one tip. Then we dipped the, uh, the treated the cytotoxin stem into the uh, GRP tagged uh, TR4 isolate, we found that the, this treatment can accelerate the invasion of the pathogen, ob uh, uh, obviously. Uh, so uh, TR4, the infection uh, mechanism is very, very, very complex. And the effectors and the microtoxin can accelerate its uh, invasion uh, uh, significantly. Uh, as our group, uh, my group uh, members, thanks my group members, thanks my collaborators, Legion from UMass Amherst and uh, authors from South Africa, Southern Bosch University. Thanks. thanks, welcome to Guangzhou. Yeah, the Pure River is very beautiful. I will, yeah, <laughs> I will get you stuff on the river surface. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you yeah. for keeping to time so, uh, you went through so much information. Um, we have time maybe just for one or two questions. So there's one on the chat line from Tamea Perasini. Um, so thank you. Uh, other pathogenic fusarium species known to produce mycotoxins for infection. And also, do you think the amount of mycotoxins by um, TR4 can be influenced by abiotic or environmental factors that put stress on the fungus, such as water stress or, or temperature? Yes, I will answer the first question, yes. The other, yeah, we not only uh, analysis the uh, STR4 and uh, TR4, we analyzed all of the 24 VCGs. All of the 24 VCGs produce uh, these two kinds of the microtoxin. We also practiced uh, most of the secondary uh, metabolism uh, gene clusters. They, and uh, for we have resequenced uh, 24 VCGs of FOC. Yes, they, among the 24 VCGs, there are really, indeed, have one, one degree of the virions for the, the secondary uh, metabolism. However, some of the microtoxins are very conservative among the 24 VCGs. Uh, it's the first question. Uh, yes, the, the production uh, of the uh, production of the microtoxin by the TR4 uh, can be influenced by the cultural uh, conditions. Different medium will produce the different can uh, different amounts of the microtoxin. Also. On some, uh, on some, um, we'll if we supply different kinds of the carbon or the nutrient, also can yes different levels of the new uh, nutrients really influence the production of the uh, microtoxin. Uh, also the um, also the different uh, different nutrients, different temperature, yes different stress. Yes, really influenced the production of the microtoxin. Uh, 